हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ टू द पॉइंट टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज क्लाउड बर्स्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी वाई इज इट इन द न्यूज रिसेंटली क्लाउड बर्स्ट ट्रिगर्ड हैवी टोरेंशियल रेन्स इन कोची केरला दिस लेट टू फ्लडिंग इवन इन एरियाज दैट नेवर एक्सपीरियंसड वाटर लॉगिंग नॉट इवन ड्यूरिंग द ट्वेंटी केरला फ्लड नॉ लेट्स डिस्कस वॉट इज अ क्लाउड बर्स्ट A cloud burst is a localized but intense rainfall activity. Short spells of very heavy rainfall over a small geographical area can cause widespread destruction especially in hilly regions where this phenomenon is the most common. The India Meteorological Department defines cloud burst as the condition where the amount of rainfall over a particular area exceeds 100 mm in an hour. Now let's have a look at geographical factors behind cloud burst. Cloud burst often result in flash floods and have become increasingly common from May to September when the southwest monsoon season prevails in much of the country. Most of these happen in the Himalayan states where the local topology, wind systems and temperature gradients between the lower and upper atmosphere facilitate the occurrence of such events. The phenomenon that is responsible for a large amount of precipitation in such a short duration is orographic lift. It is the process by which cumulonimbus clouds that are all ready to rain are pushed up by warm air currents. As they reach higher elevations, the water droplets within the clouds become bigger and new ones are formed. Lightning within these clouds help in delaying rainfall. These dense clouds eventually burst, unable to hold the large volume of moisture. This results in torrential downpours in the geographical region right below and leads to overflowing of water bodies in a very short duration of time. Now let's understand can cloud burst be predicted? Satellites fail to detect cloud burst. This is because the resolution of the precipitation radars is much smaller than the area of individual cloud burst events. Similarly monitoring stations on the ground can hardly capture the cloud burst characteristics due to their highly localized and short occurrence multiple weather radars can be used to give timely updates but they are very expensive however a doppler radar system is ideal for predicting the cloud burst and demands were made to equip monitoring stations in cloud burst prone areas with this system following the 2013 in uttarakhand To prevent damage to life and property caused by extreme rainfall events, the India Meteorological Department has planned massive expansion of its Doppler radar footprints to improve forecast of cloud burst. Now lastly, let's discuss about cloud burst and climate change. Several studies have shown that climate change will increase the frequency and intensity of cloud burst in many cities across the globe. Global warming is leading to more evaporation of water and because of this dense cumulonimbus clouds are forming resulting in intense rainfall. It is seen that more cloud bursts are happening in Himalayan region because the decadal temperature rise in the Himalayan region is higher than the global rate of rising temperatures. Now is the time for practice question. Which of the following clouds causes cloud burst? Nimbostratus, cumulonimbus, stratocumulus or Zero cumulus. Send answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.